right. This is that noisy old um, press cold compressor from the other day. Got my little um, oil uh, removing tank here. A little old vacuum pump. Put a vacuum on there. Got another tap raised in. A little hose. Let's get the oil sucked out and then we'll uh, start stripping it down and see why it was so noisy. It's the old sump plug, quite often, I don't know if you can see it on there. That yellow stuff on there, I think it's sulphur. I think it comes out the um comes out of the oil. If we can get a bit of... Well, I can see it there. Looks like yellow paint. Alright, there we go. Leave that shoe in there. Open the tap. I think these hold about half a litre. They shouldn't take too long. Doesn't look too bad, really. You think that's been there for 50 years? Right, got the old uh, compressor off. I'll just take these bolts out and we can have a look inside. Got it. Right, let's have a little look in here then. Hmm, well that doesn't look too bad for 50 years.
give me a torch really, but there's can't make me mind up what it is with us. Ah uh, yeah, looks like little bits of bronze in there, so something's given up. That it's a bit It's a bit of wear in it, but not a not a great no, I've seen a lot worse anyway. Right. Right, got all the head bolts out, let's have a look under here. Oh. Nice and clean. Smells a bit burnt, but that's probably just old oil. Uh, That one looks a bit dirty, but for uh, something that's 50 years old, that looks in very good condition. I've certainly seen stuff that's a couple of years old that's in much worse, um, much worse condition than this. I have seen one of these little pins, ones that hold these valves in, there's one of these um, pump liquid hydraulic and it actually fired that pin through the valve plate, it came right through the other side, and the only thing left of it was a little silvery mark on the top of the head. So, uh, it's quite a... Um, Little ridge you can feel there with your finger now, but again, nothing uh, too bad. There's got these odd little um, zeros marked on the. Um, that's it's a bit tight, but. Um, Oh, that's odd. I wonder whether that's uh, hmm. They almost look like they've been scratched on there, don't they? Um, and that is um, they are on the outside on both of them, so it's not. I wonder if there's something to do when they manufacture it. Somebody might have marked them. Let's have a look at the motor. Right, let's have a look in here. That looks okay. Sure, um, oil flingers, these two bits here, they fling the oil up around there and it gets on on this, splashed up around the outside and then drains down the centre into the little reservoir, runs up that tube and um, feeds all the bearings. But looking at this little tube here, there's, I don't know if you can see that there, there's an awful lot of wear on one side. So that makes me wonder 
but the main bearing has gone in the middle and the crank's been running off centre. I wonder if you could lose a lot of, well I don't know, whether you'd lose a lot of oil around that or not. Saying that I can't move it at all. There's a tiny bit of movement that way. Mm. 